I've talked about many times on this channel how fantastic resistance band exercises are. It's a super versatile tool that you can use absolutely anywhere and get a great workout in. So I wanted to do something for you guys and put a list together of every resistance band exercise that I could think of when I filmed them and put them all in this video. And now I have no idea how many it was because I didn't count before doing this, but I may have put it in the title so you may know how many you're gonna watch. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video where I guide you through every resistance band exercise that I could think of, and maybe some more that I haven't thought of yet that I may need to do another video of because they're so versatile and there's almost an unlimited amount of possibilities with these bands. Enjoy, and I'll see you at the end. Okay then, let's get started here with some resistance band chest exercises. And starting off with a nice simple one with the band chest press. You can see here I've got it tied up to a pole, but you can always tie it around your back. Get those elbows flared out to the side as much as you can and pressing those arms forwards. We've got a bit of variation on that here. If you are struggling with it, we can do a single arm variation. This one you may need to be careful of tipping back but again, elbow out to the side, pressing that arm forwards with the band behind you. Next up, we are doing a close grip chest press. So similar to the chest press, but the elbows stay in, keeping those hands close together as you press it forwards for a bit of a variation on the chest press. And again, we can do a single arm variation on this if you need to. Pick what works for you. Some of you may that. Some of you may find that doing both arms is good. Some of you may find that doing one is good. Now we've got the across body chest press. Another variation here. We're gonna sit a little bit more perpendicular to the anchor point and press the band across the body for a little bit more contraction on the chest muscle. Talking about contraction on the chest muscle, the chest fly here isolates that chest muscle and means that we're taking the triceps out of the equation, which is great for those of you who don't have triceps or if you want to just target it by itself. Next, we're going to come at a different angle here and do the decline angle chest press. Same as before with the regular chest press, arm out to the side, pressing it down, but we're hitting that lower chest fibers just a little bit more on this decline version. And again, we can do a close grip variation of the decline press for a little bit extra variety in our pressing movements. And next we've got the decline across body chest press. And doing the single arm variation here, coming right the way across our body, this decline variation is really good for simulating that pushing of a wheelchair motion. And we can also isolate the chest with the fly in motion here and doing the decline variation. So again, isolation and more on those lower fibers of the chest. And we've done decline. So let's do the opposite here and do incline and hit that upper chest a little bit more and probably a little bit of the front deltoids too here along with the triceps and doing that incline chest press, elbow out to the side, pressing it up and forwards diagonally. And we've got our close grip variation here where we keep that elbow tucked in the whole time, or at least the best you can, and pressing that forwards up and diagonal. And then we've got the, again, the across body incline chest press here, working those muscles. This one is particularly tough because it is trying to pull you down and you've got to fight against it using those core muscles a little bit or you can hold on to the side. And that moves us on to the last of our chest exercises here before we move on with the incline variation of the chest fly, using that single arm, pulling it up and across for maximum effect. Now we've done our chest exercises, let's move on to the shoulders next. And starting off here with some rotator cuff work on the external rotation. Have that elbow tucked into the side, rotating out. This one's particularly great for protecting those shoulders and a vital exercise for us wheelchair users. But those arms don't just externally rotate, they internally rotate too. So again, tuck the elbow in, face perpendicular to the anchor point and rotate only at the upper arm so it comes across your body. 
Next up, we've got a lateral raise, hitting those medial delts to the side and raising those arms up the best you can to so that either the upper arms are parallel to the floor or a little bit above it. And the variation on the lateral raise, which is a little bit easier if you haven't got great core, is to do a single arm variation. As you can see with my other hand, I'm just resting there, holding myself so I don't tip over and also holding the band too. And then moving on to the front delt, moving on to the front deltoid here, we've got a front raise, bringing it up in front of you. So it's about parallel or just above parallel to the floor, engaging that front deltoid. Moving on to one that combines the previous two together a little bit, a front raise to lateral raise with the resistance band. This means that we're getting more time under tension as we're going through this exercise, making those muscles work harder. Now we're moving on to an exercise that works all three heads of the deltoids, the shoulder press, simple movement here, having that band locked down low, pressing it up above the head, leading with the hand, elbow follows. Then we've got a neutral grip variation here. So it's very similar to the previous one, but instead of our arm out to the side, we keep it tucked in nice and tight, palm facing inwards towards you, pressing up for a little bit easier on the shoulder movement. Now we've got a shrug move. Now we've got a shrug movement here. We shrug that shoulder up so it comes towards our ear, only moving the shoulder blades and getting a great activation and a great way to work those shoulder blades. Next here, we've got a face pull. We want to start with the band around about chest tight. I'm not so great at doing this one with a double hand as I haven't got the great core stability, but you bring those hands up so they're in line with the ears and then release it back to the start again. And then the variation that's a little bit easier for me because I haven't got that core is to do the single arm variation. As you can see here, I'm not rocking so much, but I'm rotating that palm as I pull it back, hand comes towards the ear. And then the final exercise here is one that really works those rotator cuffs and the rear deltoids at the same time and around the world. Start with that band in front of you, pull it up, round, down, back to the front, and then go in reverse. Let's move on to the arms now and starting at the front of the arms with the biceps. And the first exercise here is a bicep curl. Have that band tied up in front of you, both hands facing towards it, and pull it so you're flexing at the elbow and the hands come up towards the shoulders. If you can't do this double arm variation, then you can go on to the next one where we've got an alternating. This just slows down the movement a little bit, allows you to maybe concentrate on each pull a little bit more on this one. Next, we've got an incline variation of the bicep curl. So having the band just a little bit lower and then pulling it up towards us. I've got a slight lean forwards here and it just changes that angle of attack on the biceps. And then we've got a single arm variation, which we can do on the regular bicep, but I'm only showing you here on the incline variation, pulling that up. And this may help again with a little bit of control and stabilization. Next, we can do a decline variation, much like we did with the chest press, just changing that angle of attack. So we're working that bicep slightly differently, but it's always best to find which one works for you. Then we've got the incline variation of the side curl here, which is a little bit different than the last one because we're facing perpendicular and we're pulling that weight towards us from the side now. and then a decline variation. So as you can see, the previous ones I was facing the anchor point, but now I'm facing a perpendicular to it and I'm pulling it towards me and working that bicep a little bit differently. And then lastly, for the bicep curls, I've got the band behind curl. This is where I'm facing away from the band now and curling it up towards me. This is great because it has a little bit of a stretch and gets through more full range of motion for this bicep curl. Now we move around to the other side of our arm with the triceps exercises. And we're gonna start out here with a tricep pull down. Set that band up nice and high and extend the arm, only bending at the elbow, pulling it right the way down and then releasing it back up to the starting position. 
Next, we've got a variation on that where we're alternating. You can maybe just about see my other hand here. I'm pulling one hand down, then the other hand, repeating through, changing the hands for a bit of a variation. And now we're bending fours a little bit, maybe putting that band down a little bit further and then doing a kickback. So it's a little bit of variation where we're bent forwards here, kicking that hand back to also activate the tricep in a slightly different angle. And then we've got the alternating version here and apologies that you can't see the other hand, but just imagine it's, you can sort of a little, see a little bit of a finger there moving backwards, but we're alternating the hands for a little bit of a variation on that tricep alternating kickback. Next, we're gonna face away from it and we're going to do a tricep extension. Now with the extension, you wanna get nice and close to the anchor point, extend that hand up above your head. And again, we're still just flex, we're still just extending at the elbow, but now we're getting above our head. Now for this variation, we are doing one where we are pushing it away from us. Again, with that single arm, extending that arm out the best we can, changing that angle the best we can for variation with our triceps. We can also do it with both hands here, extending those hands forwards. This one can get a little bit more tough as we're using that resistance band, both hands for maximum effect with the triceps here. And then we've got an alternating version, a little bit easier than the previous one because we're not bending the band at the same time, but still pretty tricky. It's hard to hold those hands up and extend them forwards, but we can do them one at a time. Now we're doing a decline tricep crossover. This is where we bring the band across our body, but only extending at the elbow. Again, just working that tricep at a different angle for slightly different benefits, but you may find one that works for you. And if we're gonna do decline, you may have guessed we're also doing incline, pulling that band up and across our body, or at least the best we can there, extending that arm out, working that tricep the best we can. And the last of our muscle groups we're focusing on here today is the back exercises, and starting off with the classic back exercise, the resistance band row. Holding that band up around about chest height, pulling it back with both hands, leading with the elbow, to properly activate those back muscles. And like we did in the previous exercises, we can mix it up with a single arm variation of this. This is especially great if you really wanna focus on one side and get that muscular balance so one isn't working harder than the other, focus on one at a time. And then with the row, we can also change our elbow angle. So before the elbow is coming down to the side, now it's coming up so the upper arm is parallel to the floor. Pulling those arms back just the same, band at the same height, just a different variation, working slightly different back muscles. And again, we've got a single arm variation of this. As you can see with the rows, I'm a little bit more balanced when I do single arm, and that may be the same for you, especially if you've got weakness in that core. Now we've got the decline variation. Again, rowing that towards you, but you're having the band up higher. It just changes the angles puts a little bit more focus on the lats here rather than the upper back for a different angle of attack. And again, we've got the single arm variation here. And you probably notice as well, I'm a lot more stable when I do the single arms like I've already mentioned. If that's the same case with you, go for the single arm variation. That's what I choose for myself, but I wanted to show you both. And then we've got the wide row variety of the decline version, putting those bands back the best you can as you, again, you can see that I do struggle a little bit with doing this one with that core. It's trying to pull me forwards. I'm trying to stay back. So we've got that single arm variation to help me out there. And it's a great way to get this back muscles working. Wide row is particularly great for those rear shoulders as well as the upper back muscles. So get these exercises in if that's where you're trying to target. And we've done decline. So as we've said before, we've got to get the incline in to hit that angle differently. Hit more of the traps here and getting those upper back muscles working really well with the incline row. We've done the double arm, so we've got the single arm variation as well. Pulling that band up, activating those trap muscles and getting really good shoulder scapulation retraction as well as working on those traps and the rhomboids. We can do the wide road now in the incline as well. You probably found there's a bit of a pattern with these. We do 
the two different variations. We've got the single arms of each, and then we've got the incline and decline on all of these rowing motions. You may find that there's one particular one that works for you, but if you can mix it up with changing those angles especially, you'll find that you'll get a well-rounded back workout in with just doing these rowing motions. Now we've got a different one here, a straight arm row. So before we we're leading with the elbow, now we stick with a straight arm and pull it back. This focuses a little bit, a little bit more on those lats and gets the triceps activated a little bit too as well. And we've got that single arm variation as well. Bit more stability now, a little bit more focus for me on that rear deltoid, the rhomboids, the lats, everything in the upper back is working to get that band back there. And then we can do an alternating version, which is quite a nice way to do it because I don't have to worry about the balance, but I can get it done in a shorter amount of time because I'm not having to swap the hands between the two. And next here, we've got a bent over fly. This works the rear deltoid as well as the upper back muscles, especially the rhomboids here to squeeze those shoulder blades together. But we pull that band up. That band wants to snap me back down, but I'm doing my best to lower it slowly and failing a little bit. But I can lower it slowly when I go for the single arm variation. Again, bent over here. Now I've got it tied to a pole for a little bit of a difference here and raising that arm up to the side the best I can and lowering it slowly back down again. And then we've got an alternating version as well. Just trying to mix up here, give you different options with your resistance bands to get these workouts in. One may work for you, one may not. Choose what works for you and experiment. Okay, and we've got a different variation of this here as well. So this is very similar to the bent over one where I had it tied to the pole. But now I've got it tied up higher so I don't have to bend forwards. But I'm still working that scapular retraction, which you can just about see on the top there. Now we're going into a pull apart. This is a classic resistance band exercise, working on that upper back muscles, scapular retraction. Really simple. We don't need to tie it to anything for this. And if you want a bit of a variation with this, a little bit of a play around, we can go the alternating version of the pull aparts where we alternate one hand high, one hand low, and work in that shoulder in a slightly different motion than we would before. You can even mix the previous one in with this for a bit of variation. Now we're going on to the lat pull downs, tying those bands up nice and high, pulling that elbow down towards the chip, putting the elbow down towards your side the best you can, and really squeezing those lats and the shoulder blades down and back. We've got the single arm variation here as well, and just pulling it down. Again, I prefer a single arm variation on pretty much all of the exercises that I've shown you here, and especially on these lat pull downs as well. Just really helps me to activate those muscles. But if you wanna speed up things a little bit, we can tie both those bands up and alternate the pull down here for great effect and great time-saving management, and it may work for you best. And we've got a slight variation on the lat pull down. See, before the elbow was out to the side, but now we're keeping it nice and close into the body and bringing the biceps into the action a little bit more with the pull down. With this, we can also do the single arm variation. Again, the biceps getting a little bit more activation here, so it's more of a compound exercise, but doesn't make it bad. It just makes it slightly different, works the lats a bit differently, and uses the biceps too. And then for time saving, or if you just want to have a play around with it, we can do the alternating arms version for a great way to get this session in, get this exercise done and maximize your results. And now we're going back to some straight arm pull downs as well. We're doing both arms at the same time now. This is one that I particularly like for pulling motions. Really great way to get this exercise in. And it's almost like a ski erg. And we've got a single arm variation of the pull down now, brilling it down the best you can, working those rear back muscles. These ones are at a decline angle, so it's a little bit different to the ones we've previously shown, but still a great way to get this exercise in. And then, as always, we've got the alternating version to finish off our exercises here and finish the video for you. If you think I missed anything in this video, let me know down below, or if you have any comments, questions, or concern about any of the exercises, 
let me know below. If you like the video, hit that like button. And if you're new here or you haven't already, subscribe for more great videos just like this one.